Here's a good question. Why do we use ppm as a unit when what we really mean is milligrams per liter? So how come this is interchangeable with this when we're talking about dilute solutions? And in a dilute solution, draw my little Erlenmeyer flask here, so I have a solution in there and let's say that um, I have a component that is, you know, let's say, my pen doesn't work well, Ag plus a silver ion. Silver ion in H2O. So that's my. So this is my solute, silver ion, and this is my solvent, water. And together, of course, they are a solution, one phase homogeneous mixture, which is a solution. And I call it an aqueous solution because the solvent is water. And I can describe the concentration. So I describe how much silver is in the water. That's called the concentration. Of this dilute solution. The way I do that is to say how many how many milligrams of silver, so let's say, let's give it an, um, a value because this is just an example. And let's say that there are, I know there are, um, 3.0 milligrams of this silver, which is, exists as an ion in this case, in this example. <clears throat> so there's 3.0 milligrams silver in one liter of solution. That's a ratio. This may not be one liter. Let's say it's only 500 mils. Yes, so my concentration is, is, um, is, is a ratio. So there are 3.0 milligrams of silver for every liter of solution. So say I only have 500 mils of solution. Well, then that means at this rate, I have one and a half milligrams of silver in that solution, okay? So the solution is always, um, in, in this case, milligrams per liter. That unit is always gonna be given per one liter so that I don't have a number on the bottom that would look really awkward. Okay, but if I know how many milligrams of silver there are in one liter, I can calculate how many milligrams there are in 500 mils, 17 mils, you know, seven liters, doesn't matter, it's, it's a ratio. Okay, so um, my solution concentration then is described as being equal to 3.0 milligrams per liter, and then I put the solute over here. Okay? So my solution concentration is 3.0 milligrams per liter silver. So I'm going to drop this part of the description now and, and just focus on this number. And we're doing this example to demonstrate why this 3.0 milligrams per liter can equally be written as 3.0 parts silver um, <clears throat> per million parts of solution, or 3.0 ppm silver, okay? Um, and so this is equal to 3.0 ppm silver, and what we're doing in this example is saying why? <laughs> Why can I take 
those units and replace them with this unit. Okay, well let's do that. Let's start with that value, 3.0 milligrams per liter. Let's slide this up so you can see. Okay, 3.0 milligrams per liter. I want to convert milligrams to grams. Why? <laughs> Um, okay, what I want to do is convert this unit and to grams of silver and this unit to grams as well. The advantage of having grams on the top and grams on the bottom, that is to say the same unit on the top and the bottom, is that then it, I can just call it a part instead of a gram. Let's do it and you'll see. So 3.0 milligrams, I want to get rid of the unit of milligram and change it to gram. So what is my conversion factor to convert from milligrams to grams? And I set it up this way so that when I multiply, things on the top and the bottom cancel, remember? Well, I know that one gram has is equivalent to 1,000 milligrams. Perfect. So I know that when I multiply this, this guy will cancel with this, and now I will have um, my unit in grams. It'll be grams per liter, right? If that unit goes out with this unit, I'm left with grams per liter, and the number would be 3.0 times 10 to the minus 3 because I'm dividing 3 by 1,000. So it would be 0 0.003 grams per liter. But I don't want to stop there. I want to keep going because I also want to change this to grams. Okay, how do you change a volume unit to a mass unit? Well, you need a conversion factor that has both volume and mass in it. And so that's density. We have to make an assumption here. I don't know the exact density of this solution, but I do know that it's very dilute. And so my assumption then is to take the density of the solution is basically equal, I'm pointing to something you can't see, the density of that solution is equal to the density of pure water. And that's a fair assumption because it is so dilute um, and the preci precision to which I'm reporting here just in uh, one decimal place or two sig figs is uh, well within that assumption being valid. So now I want to convert this unit of liter. So remember when I wanted to convert milligrams to grams, I put milligrams across from this so that it would cancel. So if I want to convert a liter um, liters to a mass unit, then if I want to change from this unit liter, I'm going to put it on top here, so now it's across from it, and it'll cancel, because if I put liter here and multiply, I'm going to get liters squared on the denominator. But hold on one second, because my density is in grams per mil, so the first thing I want to do is convert liters to mils, so in one liter, or one liter is equal to 1,000 mils. Okay, so now that goes out with that and I've converted, now I have milliliters. And now I want to convert that volume to a mass. So milliliters to grams, so that that cancels. This is the density. So these were just metric conversions here and this is just my, uh, my my normal metric conversion. This one is employing the idea of density of pure water. The density of pure water is one gram per mil, so in one gram uh, has a volume of one mil. Okay, let's look at what we've done. Those units will cancel with these units. 
liters cancel with liters and milliliters cancel with milliliters and don't cancel the grams yet just hold on I want to demonstrate something so see how I'm just left with grams on the top and grams on the bottom okay and what is my value on the top it will be 3 and on the bottom 10 to the 3 times 1 times 10 to the 3 that's a thousand times 1 times 10 to the 3 another thousand that's 1 times 10 to the 6 and this will be 3.0 divided by 10 to the 6 so I have 3.0 grams divided by 10 to the 6 is 1 million grams and remember what this was this was my grams of solute in this case in our, our example we said it was silver plus and this is solution and so because this is a gram and this is a gram then I state that there are uh, in a hundred parts if I can divide the solution up into not a hundred one million if I were to divide the solution into one million parts how many of those parts would be silver plus this camera won't focus and it's bugging me It's a little better, isn't it? Oops. Okay, so the question is, if I divide the solution up into one million parts, how many parts are silver? Three. Right? Each part is a gram. And so that allows me to say that I have 3.0 parts per million AG plus. There are three parts silver for every million parts of solution. I just demonstrated that. So because of the value of a milligram and because of how many mils or grams there are in a liter then the conversion, or not a conversion, but the expression of milligrams per liter is always the same as part per million. So I could start with any example and I encourage you to do that. Take another example and change the number instead of 3, I don't know, say 0.25. Say 0.25 milligrams of something per liter and convert that to grams over grams. Well, I guess we could do it right now just to do it again. Um, milligrams to grams for the top. One gram equals 1,000 milligrams. And I want a liter of solution to become a gram of solution. Liter turn it to mils first and then from milliliters to gram that's a density and always if it's an aqueous solution take the density of pure water one mil is one gram so I see that I've done it again in this example milligram milligram liter liter mils mils don't cancel these. We're making a point here. 0 0.25 and on the bottom a thousand times a thousand. And so whatever this component was and this is solution. It's always component over solution. That's the idea of concentration. Concentration, that's worth writing down. When I say concentration of solution 
it's always going to equal my quantity of solute, that's the component, over a quantity of solution. And so typically a mass of the solute in uh, a liter of solution. That's one way. And we are saying that uh, in this example, 0.25 grams in a million grams, because these are both the same unit, then I can say that this particular solution, if I were to divide it into a million parts, only 0.25 parts out of a million parts would be equal to this. And so in this particular example, I can say that this is also equal to 0 0.25 parts per million. Okay, so hopefully that's a little clearer um, and is not magic or illogical why we are doing this substitution. Um, we also said that a part per billion was a microgram per liter, and you can use the uh, same concept here to demonstrate that to yourself. And again, I encourage you to do that. So you see the logic. Great. Have fun.